Canadians sent aid to Lebanon following explosions. On August 4, 2020, explosive blasts at Beirut port devastated the city, causing 200 deaths, 6,000 injuries, and leaving 300,000 homeless. The Canadian government created the Lebanon Matching Fund that matched its citizens' donations to 6 million US dollars, and altogether, 13.45 million US dollars was raised to assist the Lebanese people. 12 Canadian charities, including Care Canada and Oxfam Canada, as well as United Nations relief agencies and the Lebanese Red Cross, will use the money to deliver food, water, healthcare, and other essential services to the victims. Overall, the Canadian government has given 22.4 million US dollars in humanitarian support to Lebanon after the event. Canada is a Shining World Leadership Awards for Compassion and Protection Laureate. Thank you, the Canadian people and government, for giving so generously to Lebanon in her time of need. We pray the gracious Lebanese will quickly recover and thrive in Allah's grace. Strongest ever gravitational waves observed, possibly created by black hole merger. A signal recorded by two detectors on Earth that measure ripples in space-time is believed to be the result of a collision and merger of two black holes 7 billion years ago. One black hole involved could be 85 times our Sun's mass and the other 66 times. As they collided, a gigantic amount of energy equivalent to eight suns was released traveled across the universe and reached Earth. The instruments can translate the waves as audio, and the sound resembled a brief thought. Research team member Dr. Alan Weinstein, a physics professor at the U.S.-based California Institute of Technology, stated, It's the biggest bang since the Big Bang observed by humanity. Such exciting news, scientists, on your discovery of this significant event in space. May your research help to deepen our knowledge of the fascinating universe in celestial glory. Australian researchers develop oxygen machine for pneumonia treatment during power interruptions. A team of University of Melbourne physicists and a mechanical engineer have created a device that provides oxygen to patients when there is no power. The 302 LPOS or Low Pressure Oxygen Store is designed for countries where the electricity supply is unstable and children frequently have pneumonia, a condition that is the leading cause of death globally in those under 5. The system filters air through a material that traps nitrogen and outputs oxygen into a reserve that's pressurized by a water tank. If the electricity shuts off, the water pressure helps deliver oxygen to the patient. Our appreciation, University of Melbourne scientists, for your oxygen machine that saves the lives of precious children. May your invention soon be found in hospitals throughout the developing world as we work together to protect and love one another. Study quantifies societal benefits of electric vehicles to the U.S. A study led by researchers at Northwestern University in the United States has determined the health, environmental, and economic contributions of electric vehicle or EV adoption. If 25% of gasoline cars were replaced with EVs, the nation could save 17 billion US dollars per year in climate change and air pollution related damages. If 75% of the gas cars were replaced with EVs and additional renewable energy capacity was installed, up to 70 billion US dollars could be saved. Furthermore, hundreds or even thousands of Americans could avoid early death from impure air annually, while carbon emissions could be lowered by hundreds of millions of tons. A salute of appreciation, Northwestern University researchers and others involved for quantifying the tremendous advantages of electric vehicles. My electric transport grow in the United States and globally for healthier lives and a cleaner planet in divine splendor. 
British seven-year-old with cerebral palsy climbs UK's highest mountain for charity. Caden Thompson of Northamptonshire, England, who was once diagnosed as never being able to walk, has ascended the 1,345-meter high Ben Nevis mountain in Scotland. The journey started at 9 a.m. and he reached the top at 5.30 p.m. Though many hikers on the same route turned back due to falling temperatures, Caden persisted. Contributions by supporters of this courageous charitable track to benefit disability, equality, charity, scope, and the UK's National Health Service well surpassed Caden's £8,000 goal with over £22,000 raised. The determined boy performed the feat because he wanted to give something back. A big high five and heartfelt congratulations, Caden Thompson, on your miraculous accomplishment and immense bravery. May God bless you with ever-improving health and strength as your positive and selfless attitude spreads optimism and generosity to all who hear your story. Supreme Master Ching Hai joyfully present the Shining World Compassion Award to Caden Thompson and 10,000 US dollars in loving support of your heroic, big-hearted endeavor with a big hug, lots of love and praises. May the divine bless you always. Vegan meat substitute options expand in Japan. Japanese food producers have been releasing new plant-based meats as demand for them has increased during the COVID-19 pandemic. NH Foods Limited introduced five new vegan products that include kima curry, sausages, konjac, and more. The famous Moss Burger chain, with more than 1,300 outlets throughout Japan, premiered the Green Burger, which features a green bun, lettuce, and a plant-based patty it developed. Another company joining the trend is Atsuka Foods Company that has created four new plant-based products including a hamburger steak. Also, Marukome Company now markets mock minced meat made of soy. Way to go, Japan, on your growing appetite for this and other life-saving vegan offerings. May food manufacturers continue to develop more plant-based choices as Japanese consumers embrace the compassionate way of eating in Buddha's radiance. Scientists encounter elephant's roux variety not seen for half a century. Researchers, including those from the U.S. headquartered Global Wildlife Conservation or GWC group, have found mouse-sized elephant's roost in Djibouti. Last seen in Somalia, in 1968, the Somali elephant's roost, also known as the Somali Singi, was part of the GWC's search for lost species project that includes a list of 25 most wanted animals. The Somali Singi can run at speeds of up to 30 km per hour and is classified as being most closely related to manatees, elephants, and aardvarks. The adorable being's ongoing survival is expected to be secure due to their habitat's remoteness. We are elated, Global Wildlife Conservation and other team members, to hear of your find. May our world support the safety of and peaceful existence with all precious species and friends from the animal kingdom in divine love.